13 found nothing. Well, three months ago, we found an onyx bead. No offense, Dr. Brennan, but what we're looking for is evidence of early man, not jewelry that's barely 2,000 years old. Ah! I find it interesting that I'm only afraid of snakes when Booth is around to be jumped upon. Insurgents five minutes ago went to kidnap a child of NATO interpreter. We gonna allow that? Uh, just like we train boys a hundred times. <laughs> talk about brain damage in veterans that's because i'm here to talk about brain damage in veterans all she's going to want to talk about is that missing child i have nothing to say about logan bartlett that's the problem i have been up all night going over forensic anthropology and entomology reports i can't confirm the identity of the child in my morgue which is the excuse the justice department will use to fire you i'm good at my job caroline they're not gonna fire me cherie you are brilliant at your job but you do not understand politics what they want is for you to shut up about brain damage and veterans if i can't fix this carburetor we're in trouble i think we might be in trouble anyway dr brennan This is a very delicate situation. If I were you, I'd swallow that engagement ring right now. Those young men are Alifu. And Alifu man's worth is measured by how many daughters he has, not sons, which indicates that they venerate women. We have to show them that we're women. evil rapist Alifu. Well, in that case, when they get close enough, you take the little one and I'll get the other two. Why are you in your underwear? You said look like a woman. Should I take off more? Afghanis. What's the rush? Cam's gonna lose her job and her reputation if you don't do your white night routine. Why Cam? She's the best coroner in town. That's right. Now saddle up, Sir Galahad. Get yourself back and convince the powers that be. Today I have with me in the studio Dr. Camille Soroyan, the federal medical examiner for D.C. and the environs. Dr. Soroyan has an exemplary record, winning several citations along the way. It's an honor to meet you, Dr. Soroyan. Thank you. Glad to be here. 
I think I did a pretty amazing job of distracting them. Try to start the truck, Daisy. There could be more. Brennan. Shui, I Dr. know you are out there looking for the origins of humanity, but you need to get home right now. Why? Because you left Cam all alone, and if you don't come back, she's going to lose everything. With all that success behind you, why are you stalled on the Logan Bartlett case? Booth is coming. Everyone's coming. But we need you because you are the smartest. That's true. I am the smartest. Daisy, we have to get home. eight months, I've performed autopsies on six veterans, four fought in Iraq, two in Afghanistan. All six show signs of brain damage consistent with improvised explosive devices. Dr. Saroyan, why haven't you identified the remains of the child currently on your slab? My slab? Oh, that's not ethical. They started a search for a new federal medical examiner. Carolyn, I'm very good at my job. Yes, you are very good, but that's not the issue. They're mad at you for causing a fuss, and they're looking at an excuse to fire you. That child is their excuse. You said your entomologist and anthropologist are no good, right? What if I told you I got you the best, plus a cop who will help you, not blame you? The best anthropologist is in Indonesia, the best cop is in Afghanistan, and the best entomologist is in France. I got them all coming back. How'd you do that? Same way I'm going to get you a tame psychologist. Talk to me. That is no way for an adult holding a PhD in psychology to answer the telephone. Miss Julian, I'm on sabbatical. Doing what? Installing elevators? Because I can hear the music. Rethinking my life priorities. What's wrong? Boo's on his way back from Afghanistan, and I hear he has major post-traumatic stress syndrome. Enough said. Uh, I'll get myself reactivated immediately. So... The reason we're here, people, the reason we're here, hello, Cam here has decided to launch a jihad. Wow, jihad, talk about loaded terminology. Far, far above us on the food chain, someone with a cold heart has decided that Cam must be silenced. I'm totally impressed. Wait, wait, what jihad? Brain damage in veterans. The point is, the easiest way to shut Cam up is to fire her for cause. Tell him. <sighs> Three months ago, a two-year-old boy, Logan Bartlett, disappears. Stolen in the middle of the night from his mother's house. Kidnapped child, the media jumped on it big time, blew it up huge. You believe this is Logan Bartlett? The media does, and they're saying I'm incompetent because I won't confirm or deny. Incompetence is grounds for dismissal. Well, the size is right for a two-year-old. The sternum is crushed. That's a possible cause of death. The bug guy says insect activity indicates that the time of death was between six and 12 weeks ago. It's a useless time frame. Yeah, the bug guy's not Hodgins. In fact, nobody is any of you. The 
didn't make sense. So our goal here is you people tuck in like the old days, make Cam look competent, so we keep us the best federal corner we ever had. I had no idea you thought that. I'm in. But first thing in the morning, I gotta have breakfast with Parker, and then I'll go find the missing kids' uh, parents and see if I can get any information off them, all right? We're in. Absolutely. See you in the lab tomorrow. Thank you, guys. I am going to need some help. Wait, didn't Daisy come back with you? Daisy said that she needs some time off. Who else is available? Nobody. Nobody? Vincent Nigel Murray won a million dollars on Jeopardy. Took a round-the-world trip. Mr. Vaziri switched majors from forensic to cultural anthropology. He's interning at the Baghdad Museum. Fisher checked into a clinic with a case of the hopeless vapors. Dr. Edison took a position in Chicago. What, what about Wendell? Last I heard, working in a repair shop. Excuse me. What happened? You're no longer in the Jeffersonian. All my interns, gone. What happened is you put your own desires ahead of everything else and you left. Are you angry with me? Yes, I am angry, Dr. Brennan. We had a great thing going. You just... You let it fall apart. Wendell? Wendell Bray? Yeah. Oh, it's Dr. Temperance Brennan. Welcome back. Did you find Homo Floresiensis in Maluku? No, not yet. Why are you fixing a bus? You are a highly educated and fairly intelligent young man. Gotta pay rent. Save up for tuition. What happened to your fellowship? Well, after you left, the new forensic anthropologist wasn't based at the Jeffersonian. He was in New York. So they shut down the program. I am very, very difficult to replace. That you are. I would like to hire you to help me. For how long? For however long it takes to identify these remains. And then I have to get back to Maluku. No can do. I uh, pulled in favors to get this job. Got to think long term. I appreciate the offer, though. How much would it take? Because I have quite a lot of money, and it's no use to me in Maluku. I, I put Logan down. <sighs> wow. These really are the remains of a child, huh? Yeah, and that about sums up my total knowledge on the case. It's a male child. You like living in Paris? Are you kidding? It's Paris. Yeah, I get to draw the Eiffel Tower, not dead children's faces. These remains were found wrapped in a blanket in a shallow grave along the Potomac? Yeah, I don't know if that's a blanket. Um, looks like it might have been cut from something larger. Now, the stitching suggests that maybe it's from some kind of garment, like a jacket or a sleeping bag. What does this look like to you, Wendell? Root completion of the canines. That, plus the fusion of the vertebral elements. You're suggesting that this victim is over three years old? Yes. Despite his small size? It's hard to be sure in a child this young, but the eye orbits are relatively round. Yes, Angela's right. About what? The round eye orbits. The skull is brachycephalic. If I were reconstructing the skull, I'd definitely be going Asian. So it can't be Logan Bartlett. Thanks for your cooperation. Hey, Hodgins found some bug evidence. Hey, Hodgins, what's up? Hey, brother. Wow, what is with this scuzzy hellhole? And where's my office? You see that table over there? That's your office. And you have to share. Huh. If these remains are Asian, that might help explain his size. And this is all adding up to the likelihood that this is not Logan Bartlett. It's not Logan Bartlett. Cam's bug guy, really not top shelf, by the way, says that insect activity indicates that this kid died between 6 and 12 weeks ago, but he didn't take into account the fact that the kid was wrapped up. But the blanket retarded insect activity. Uh, again, it, not a blanket. Californian sarcophagidae flies are present as adults and early instar larvae. You're not interested in details. Okay, upshot. This child died at least 16 weeks ago, long before Logan Bartlett went missing. I think we're all agreed that this is not the missing child. Well, maybe not the famous one, but this is somebody's missing child.
So you are positively, absolutely certain that it isn't Logan Bartlett? Absolutely, that's not a word. Yes, we are certain. So you people come back from the far-flung corners of the earth, out past the outer suburbs of Timbuktu, and you solve the case in a shake? What's a shake? Three jiffies and a cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha. We didn't actually solve the case. All we've done is ascertain that the remains are not those of Logan Bartlett. We still have to figure out whose remains are in Cam's lab and what happened to him. You are so right, Dr. Brennan. How could I have taken my eye off the ball like that? Blood flow is crucial to cognitive dexterity. Perhaps you don't get enough exercise. We figured this out. Cam has a chance to keep her job, right? That's what you came back for, isn't it? Help out Cam? Absolutely. Look, nothing against Carrie. Sweetie. Sweetie, can I get some attention over here? Yeah, uh, yes, it's very good to see you. Because you are my best friend and I love you like a sister. I, I assume not having an actual sister to use as a control. Right, yes, yes, I know. So, um, what is the deal with Booth? Is it weird seeing him again? Not at all weird, very nice. Are there any old surges or feelings? Anything like that? Booth fell in love in Afghanistan. Oh, oh, sweetie, I'm so sorry. Why? Are, are you in love with Booth? Oh, a little bit, but that's not what I mean. Don't tell me that you're happy about him finding somebody else. No, I'm very pleased for him. A committed romantic dyad is exactly the kind of relationship Booth seems to require to be happy. Did you think about Booth at all when you were away? Yes, I did. A, a few times I actually dreamed about him. Oh, well, there you go. Dreams are very meaningful. I dreamed about the work we do. I dreamed about catching murderers and getting justice for people who were killed. What does that mean? It means you're going to die loveless and alone. I don't follow your reasoning. Sweetie, can you ask me how I am, please? Well, I already know how you are. You love living in Paris and you don't miss murders and violence. What I did miss is my period. <laughs> I hope you're hugging me because you're excited about being an aunt. No, I'd have to be your sister to do that. Oh, which I am, metaphorically. Yes, you better be because I haven't even told Hajin yet. But anthropologic. Oh, no, not nice. I'm afraid I have to agree. She got everybody back here to save my job. Why do we only solve crimes when we have a dead body? Seriously? Because I'm a pathologist and she's a forensic anthropologist. Fresh dead, long time dead. I was thinking about Logan Bartlett. The missing boy? Yeah, I checked out the missing person's investigation into the father and the dad buys a car three days after the son disappeared. What kind of father does that? Bartlett, you know that this is a long shot, right? You told me to have hope. This is me hoping. If it's such a long shot, then why did we bring her? This is the only park near where Trevor's brother lives. Logan loved it. Oh, just don't get your hopes up too much, all right? Oh, I believe she should get her hopes up. Bones, why? Please stay in the car. That's Logan. Trevor died his hair, but that's Logan. You just have to trust me, okay? Oh, he's not dead. I thought he was dead. Oh, my God. Oh, just trust me. The man is ignoring his child. Why would he do that if he loves him so much? Oh, he doesn't love him. He kidnapped him to hurt his wife. I find I would like to strike him. Well, let's hope he runs, all right? And I'll take him down like a flea, all right? So when I get between Logan and the dad, you make sure that you get Mrs. Bartlett to the child, all right?
to stay here in D.C. I think it would be good if we had the baby here in the States. A baby. Our baby. Still sounds so weird. We're going to have a baby. We're going to stay in the States to have our baby. Yeah, all that wine in France is now totally wasted on me. <laughs> Why did you suddenly get quiet? Oh, because I am so happy. Okay, so you don't mind then. Are you kidding? This is the greatest news I've ever gotten. No, <laughs> no, I mean about about staying in the States. Mind. Angie, I only love Paris because you love Paris, but catching bad guys, that's what I'm made for. You're not doing this for me. You mean the way you went to Paris for me? No, I'm, I'm doing it for the baby. The baby? We're gonna have a baby. I'm gonna be a dad. You know what else I've been realizing, too? Actually, the glue that holds the whole clattery operation together. Baby, I'm gonna be a daddy. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll finish this conversation when you have your brain back. I think that we should also, I think we should just keep it between us until past the first trimester. Okay? <laughs> if you cry, don't cry. If you cry, and then I'm gonna start crying, and then... <laughs> the whole Scooby Gang's coming back. That's right, we are back. That's how it should be. You got something magic, you don't scatter it to the ends of the earth. You're concentrated in one place. There isn't a single normal law enforcement officer who could work with these people. I'm the linchpin, okay? I'm the linchpin. Booth. What are you staring at? It's you. What's me? You are the linchpin. You managed to get us all back here, and then you fixed it so we'd stay. I have no idea what you're talking about, Dr. Brennan. Thank you. You're welcome. I find I'd like to hug you. Cam's back at the Jeffersonian. Uh, why are you staring at bones like that? I prefer you don't leave us alone together. Why? What'd you do? Well, I think we should thank Dr. Brennan for insisting that the Jeffersonian reform a forensic unit on the premises. And we should recognize that Booth's return to duty at the FBI means that we can work with him again. So how come I'm not the linchpin here? I'm the linchpin. I would like to say thanks personally to all of you for dropping everything you were doing. Fighting wars. Searching for the origins of humanity. And totally failing. Making beautiful music for shoppers. You are all my true friends. And I won't forget it. But let there be no mistake, I am the boss and I am in charge. Oh, that's really gonna get in the way. <laughs> totally not my problem. Uh. I have an announcement to make. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. he does. Um, we're we're going to go home. So, okay? No, All right. I'm going for drinks. I'm with you. Oh, can Sweet Smack come? I mean, not together, just at the same time, because we're not together anymore, right? Right. I won't sit next to you. I promise. Did you see how happy Hudgens was to be back at work? I am definitely doing the right thing. Okay, I think there's a little more going on. But... Wow. Okay. That thing is really big. It's a lot to work around. Oh, well, we've worked around bigger. Metaphorically speaking. Metaphorically. Welcome home, Bones. Thank you. Welcome home, Booth. <laughs>